Hello world, it's 10 to 9 in the morning, it's the 2nd of July 2013 and today's subject is on solar returns. What's a solar return? It's one of the tools used in forecasting straight away. When, when looking at a person's horoscope, there's generally four or five different methods of forecasting. The most common one is transits, where the movements of the planets in the sky move to positions of accuracy relating to your personal horoscope. And this causes, this brings cause, and, this brings development and events through cause and effect. There's progressions, which deal with the growth of the soul from within. There's directions, which I don't really bother with. There's full moons and new moons and eclipses over the coming year from birthday to birthday, and that's quite important. And then there's the solar return chart. And the solar return chart is the chart for the moment in time when the Earth has been around the sun exactly a set number of years. The positions of the planets at that moment, at that instant, that second of time, is said to determine the pattern for the coming 12 months, or at least to influence the overall pattern for the coming 12 months. And I found it useful, particularly for working with events on a more external, outer world level. It shows the areas of life that are most likely to be affected over the coming 12 months. It's not the main tool, but it's a helpful little aside. Some clients, those who are perhaps a little bit more both innovative and affluent, uh, they, 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 they're, they're what I call return chasers. And they phone me up a week or, far, or, or a month before their birthday and go, Steve, where's the best place for me to go for my solar return? So I normally send them somewhere where the sun is either rising or directly overhead. And it tends to, it tends to work. Relocation for a solar return. It helps, perhaps, yes. But again, it's a minor one. There's also lunar returns, which is a forecast for every month. But again, but at this point, we're beginning to get a little bit anal. Okay, it works, yes, to a minor degree. But you have to be both, A, very good at forecasting, which I'm pretty good at, but then I've been at it well over 30 years. And B, the individual who's on the receiving end has to be sensitive to those nuances. And most people are just not that subtle, not that easily influenced or not that aware of the more subtle influences, which is why I, I don't bother too much with some of the more fine tuning stuff when dealing with individuals, because humanity is just not that sensitive. It's almost as if we are dumbing down as the plethora of electrical fog around us, as the amount of humanity uh, compresses and compacts in on each other. So our uh, psychics, so our uh, emotional sensitivity and receptiveness to the external influences around us is by need becoming almost dumbed down in certain ways, whilst in other ways becoming ultra acute. But that is more of a psychic sensitivity and the in, in intuitive sensitivity. A client said to me recently about how all the, ch how all the children being born since August 1999 and that Grand Cross, which really triggered everything into where we are now, then they said, yeah, that was the one. Since then, the children are all being born psychic. And it does seem as if they're nowhere near as closed down as us adults. Here's hoping for the future. Back to returns, because a return is all about forecasting for the future. It's all about making predictions, not predictions. Predictions never work. As I say to clients, we're using, using astrological techniques, using transits and progressions, using full moons, using eclipses, and especially using solar returns as well as transits, it's possible to specify areas of life that are going to receive a great deal more focus and attention over the coming 12 months. It's also possible to be reasonably specific around timings. So I can give you the areas, you can be given the areas and the times, but what you do with that, here's the free will element. You can go directly against your chart, and people do, believe me. It's interesting to watch. And they still, they still become successful, but much more effort. The solar return is an excellent tool for forecasting. My birthday's tomorrow. 
But my so because of uh, vagaries of leap years and things like that, my solar returns in about three hours. So today's pattern is going to be very indicative for me for the coming year. So been waiting for this one a long time. Watch this space. Okay, catch you later. Bye.